Alright, so we're gonna continue on for the other leg. So same thing again. I'm just gonna get my cycle out. All right, and let's go ahead and frame these guys. So yeah, same thing again. I just wanna make sure that everything follows a proper curve and stuff like that. So I just probably push this one down. Um, not really fencing this guy over here. So let's go ahead and break the tension over here and try to work this out a bit more together with the first frame over here just want to make sure that it follows a proper curve alright okay so for the most part this is kind of okay I don't see any major humps or bumps around here because the humps and bumps um, that's what cause jerkiness in your animation and for a very very basic idea we just want to make sure that those things are addressed Right, so we want it to have as a smooth animation as we can get it to be so that part is okay let's go to translate the sec next and press F again and let's just see the curves the cycle I mean okay so again some of these humps is a bit too high for my liking and so is this guy over here let me just break the tension again and Let's push it up to go to the first frame and break the tension as well. There you go. Kind of need to move it down a bit more. Alright. So, for the most part, again, there's nothing much wrong with this one. I might just want to push some of these guys up just to get a better curve going. Um, there's a bit of a hum here I believe so let's try to fix that and break the tension and push it down a bit right, let's see for this guy can we push him down just a bit more yeah so that the curve will follow a bit better Alright, so for the most part, that is okay. Let's just play this back, and as you can see, this um, the legs are a bit more smoother than before. Alright, probably would be a better idea to show this without the curves. Right, let's play that again. Yeah, so he's running, at least the legs you can see he's running properly. So let's continue on and do the hands next. Right, so we're done with the belly, the foot controls. Now let's do the shoulder for the left hand. And let's do it one by one. It's more on the rotation. So let's go to our rotate X first. And there are some wobbly things over here, but let's try to fix that. So again, I'll go to my cycle and let's see how we can fix this. So let's try to make some of this a bit more straightened up. Like that. Yeah, the, mo the most important thing to see is the first and the last frame has a proper curve. You don't want something to go like zigzag or there's a hum somewhere over there. Alright, so let me just try to straighten out some of these curves as well over here. Let's select these lines over here and try to smoothen it out just a bit more. Alright, so for the most part, that is okay. Let's look at your translate Y. And let's use our post infinity cycle again. And I probably want to fix this part over here. I just want to make sure there's a proper curve going on over there. Perhaps this one as well over here. Yep, just a slight adjustment would do for now. Now let's go ahead to the elbow. It's more on the rotation. So let's have a look at what you have over the X, Y, oh, is it Z? Yep, Z. Alright, so there's a bit of a bump over here, so all I want to do is just to make sure it goes up like that, right? And maybe I'll just change some of these curve settings over here. So 
just want to make sure it goes out properly um, let me just bring in my cycle again just to see everything's going smoothly yeah that should be okay and lastly our wrists right let's go for the rotate X then just want to make sure that it flows properly for the most part it kind of flowing quite well so we might just do some tweaks and adjustment here and there yeah pretty okay with this and finally to translate Y so probably this one over here just want to make sure that the hums are more consistent probably want to have a straight edge shock like that same goes for this one there'll be a bit of curve it's okay but as long as it's not too much all right so pretty much okay for that so let's have a look for the left end let me just pause this and take out our curves So for the most part, he is running. Now let's go ahead and work on the other hand as well. Alright, so let's continue on for the last hand over here, the right hand. Um, so I have the shoulder selected over here. And again, I'm just going to do some adjustment over here. Get my cycle out. And the idea here again is to kind of like move it as such. I'll probably want to break this tension over here and try to get it working to make sure that as, as little harms as we can get it probably have to push this one up a bit and we'll go to the first frame and break the tension and see how we can match that up Alright, so that is alright. Now let's try to move this a bit more, get a better curve going on over here. Same for this one over here, let's get the curve going on a bit better. And we'll probably push this one up a bit more. Same for the first frame over here. Just want to make sure that the curve is following the right way. Let's do this guy as well. probably will pull this down back a bit right, so for the most part that should be alright let's go to Y and we see some hums and stuff like that so let's go ahead and work on this right first of all this one needs to be a bit more sorted out and this can go a bit more lower so you have a proper curve going on over there probably just a bit more lower and we'll push this out a bit now let's go ahead and fix some of these curves over here this don't want it to be too steep because that's where jerkiness and sudden movements bounce to happen right, let's leave that like that for now and let's go to translate sorry rotate sec next and same thing again let's see where we can fix it mostly on this side here again and this as well just want to have a proper curve going on for as much of it as we can let's try to move it just slightly lower and get a better going curve over here uh, same for this one so I'll just push it up and down a bit Yep, something like that would work well for now. Let me just see if I can just adjust this just a slight bit. Right, again, important thing, we just don't have any sudden curves, uh, sudden humps going up and down. Let's go to the elbow next and do this one at a time. And same thing again, just want to make sure that everything kind of like have a proper 
a fish it doesn't it's not supposed to be like a roller coaster where it goes up and down so suddenly unless it's a sudden animation but for the most part we also make sure most of the curves are going as well as we can get it to be probably a good idea just to make it straighten out all right let's try something like that for now and let's go to our rotate y and go to our cycle again and again we're going to try to fix some of these curves right so there's not much adjustment that needs to be over here but it looks okay for now and finally our rotate y for the wrist I'll just try to even some of this out just a bit over here not too much just a bit again if there's not much things for you to move around you don't have to move it around just want to make sure that your curves are as smooth as you can get it to be all right so let's see how that looks like for now probably want to turn off the curves and see it from an angle Alright, so there we go, we have our run cycle going on. So this will be the last part of this four part series for Maya for Beginners. Um, next part we'll have more in-depth tutorial for the different modules in Maya, modeling, texturing, animation, so on. So stay tuned for the other tutorials.